Shop. Do do do. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about embroidery stabilizer. So the huge question is, what stabilizer do you use when embroidering? We get that question a lot. So hopefully after this video, it will clear some questions that you have up. So first, let's talk about the stabilizer you're going to use like 90% of the time. And that's cutaway. So cutaway all right, is great for shirts. Um, they always say, if you wear it, don't tear it. So use cutaway. Okay, it's nice and thick. It feels like felt. And it's so that your fabric won't pucker. So let's think about this. As your design is stitching, it pulls together the fabric, right? So if there's a nice firm cutaway back there, it can't pull and your design will lay flat and your fabric will lay flat, okay? For example, this one has no stabilizer and it, well, you can tell it doesn't look very well. So cutaway, will stay back there and hold it nice and flat and firm. So cutaway is what you will use mostly. And think about this. Clothes start with C and cutaway starts with C. It's kind of an easy way to remember it. All right, next, another one that you'll use a lot would be tearaway. Now tearaway is used on things like towels and blankets. It is crispy and it tears very easy. It's kind of like paper. It's not soft. Now, this is perfect for, like I said, towels or blankets. So you will hoop your tear away in your towel because you don't want to see when you're done, you can tear it off the back. You don't want to see it when you're done. So you can just tear it off. But think about this, a towel is nice and thick and it doesn't have a lot of stretch. So as it's stitching, that towel is holding in place. So it's okay to use the tearaway. I do not recommend using it on clothes or anything thin because as it, the stitches are pulling, it may tear away the fabric or tear away the tearaway from the edge and it will pucker. We don't want to do that. So on this one, this stretchy fabric, we use tearaway so you can see that even though it was stable on there, it puckered the fabric because it just wasn't enough. It was tearing around the edge. Those are your two main types of stabilizer that you will use for your back. You also have specialty stabilizer. So for example, if you're doing something like lace, you can use what's called sew and wash. Now different brands, different stabilizer brands may have different names for it, but in the end, it's just really stabilizer. You can stitch straight on and it dissolves in water. So if you're doing freestanding lace, all you have to do is use the thread and when you stick it in the water, it will be gone and you'll have your lace left over. That is sew and wash. Another one that you may use a lot will be water soluble topping. Now, you will use your back, okay? You'll still use your cutaway or tearaway, but you will also use water soluble topping on the top of your embroidery. It's like a plastic film it, where you lay it over the top and as it's stitching, so say you have a towel and as it's stitching it may sink in. Well, if you have that water soluble on top, it kind of acts like a medium and keeps it nice and puffed up so you don't lose your stitches in your towel or your blanket. It's never gonna hurt to have too much stabilizer, but it will hurt big time to have too little stabilizer. All right, and so we have here a little sample, and we'll post this on our Facebook and on our YouTube and on our blog and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, you can call the store and let us know at 318-869-1739. But don't forget to like this video and follow our page for more awesome tutorials.